Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 161 in the series of basic math. Today we'll do our 15th lesson, 15th or rather 11th, 11th video in the series of 15 videos on the topic of absolute value inequalities. Absolute value inequalities. The eleventh lesson in the series of fifteen. Let's see what we have today. We are told that the absolute value of five x minus three plus seven is greater than twenty. One more time, we are told that the absolute value of five x minus three plus seven is more than twenty. Based on this inequality that we see here, the question is: which of the following could not? Important. Which of the following could not? be the value of x and these are the five answer choices there negative 16 fifth negative 3 positive 3 positive 5 positive 16 what I want you to do now as always is to pause the video do the problem yourself once you have the answer then we'll do the work together and then you can compare your work against the work that we will do together in a few seconds time as always as I said I'll get out of your way I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video all right there we go Alright, very first thing you need to do here is to bring this 7 to this side. You're going to do that by subtracting 7 from both sides of the inequality. And that takes care of that 7. So now what we have is absolute value of 5x minus 3 has to be greater than 20 minus 7 which is 13. So let's look at the number line here. Here is our 0, here is our positive 13 and here is our negative 13. Somewhere here is what we are working with. These are the demarcations point, negative 13 and positive 13. The question is, where are we going to fall here? Absolute value has to be more than 13. Well, one is very straightforward. If if 5x minus, if, if it turns out that 5x minus 3 is more than 13, that's the, if 5x minus 3 happens to be something more than 13, then of course it's very easy to see right here. If it happens to be more than 13, which is the positive value, which is very easy to see, it will fall here which means that that's one possibility. What is the other possibility? If this quantity, let's say, let's say 5x minus 3, if 5x minus 3 happens to be, let's say, negative 15, okay, if 5x minus, if 5x minus 3 happens to be negative 15, then when we take the absolute value of it, absolute value of negative 15 is 15, and 15 is still more than 13. We are told that it has to be more than 13. So if the absolute value of this quantity turns out to be if, uh, rather not the absolute value, but rather the value of 5x minus 13. If 5x minus 13 happens to be negative 15, the absolute value of negative 15 is going to be 15, it's going to be more than 13. If it turns out to be 40, negative 14, absolute value of negative 14 is going to be more than 13. But it cannot be the value of this quantity, 5x minus 3 that we have here, 5x minus 3 that we have here, cannot be equal to say negative 12. It cannot be equal to negative 12. Why? Because when we take the absolute value of it, absolute value of negative 12 is not more than 13. As you can see, it has to be more than 13 because it's 20 minus 7. 20 minus 7 is 13. This absolute value, this absolute value has to be more than 13. Absolute value of negative 12 is not more than 13. That tells us that it cannot be negative 12. It, it has to be somewhere to the left of negative 13. It has to be somewhere to the left of negative 13. Are you with me? So the, the two regions where the absolute value of this quantity, 5x minus 13, is going to be more than 13. Let's, let's raise all of this thing here so we can get back to our original thing. So we have, a, we have a more than sign here. We put it back here. 20 minus 7 is 13. The absolute value of this quantity is going to be more than 13 in two regions. One region is where this quantity, 5x minus 3, happens to be more than positive 13. Another region where the absolute value of 5x minus 3 is going to be more than 13. The absolute value is going to be more than 13 is when this, this quantity, 5x minus 3, happens to be less than negative 13, to the left of negative 13. It's either going to be left of negative 13, the absolute value is going to be more than 13, or to the right of positive 13, again the absolute value is going to be more than positive 13, more than 13. So this region that we show here, these are the possible values, these are the possible, possible values, values, of this quantity right here, 5x minus 13, 5x or 5x minus 3 rather. So this tell, this thing that we see here, what this tells us is that either either 5x minus 3 has to be less than negative 13, or 
5x minus 3 has to be more than positive 13. All we have to do at this point is to solve these inequalities here because this, 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 number, line, this number line that we showed here does not show the does not show the possible value of x. This number line does not show the possible value of x. It shows the possible value. It shows the possible value of this quantity that we see in the absolute sign, 5x minus 3. 5x minus 3 has to be either positive, has to be more than positive 13, or 5x minus 3 has to be less than negative 13. So that's what behavior. 5x minus 3 is either less than negative 13 or more than positive 13. All we have to do at this point is solve for x. Let's do it. So we have a negative 3 here. Let's add 3 to both sides and 3 is going to drop out and we have 5x is less than negative, 10, negative 13 and the positive 3 is going to give us negative 10. Divide both sides by 5 and we find that x is less than negative 2. You with me? x is less than negative 2. All the possibility is that we add 3 to both sides here. This 3 grows out and 5x is more than 16. Which means x has to be more than 16 and a third. 16 and a third. Let's show, let's, show, let's show these values of x on the number line. I'm going to raise all of this now. I'm going to show you here the two regions where x is less than negative 2 or more than positive 16 and 3rd. We can actually show it here. Okay? Possible values. Possible values of, now we can show the possible values of x. It has to be less than negative 2, so, so this is now negative 2. And it's not, it doesn't have an equal sign, it doesn't have an equal sign, so we have to leave it an open circle. Or it has to be more than 16, 13. So this right here, let's, let's say this is 16, 13. And again, so it's got to be either x has to be more than 16 and 16, 13, 16 thirds, not 16, 13. 16, 16 divided by 3, 16 thirds. It has to be more than that, or x has to be less than negative 2. And so, the solution to this inequality shown on in a number line looks like this. But that's not what they were looking for. They're not asking us to identify a number line and answer choices are laid out like this. Which of the following cannot be the value of x? Can the value of x be negative 16 over 5? Negative 16 over 5 is 3 and 1 fifth. Negative 3 and 1 fifth. Yes, it can be right here. X can, x, all, 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 all that is required is that x is less than negative 2. Well, if it's less than negative 2, then obviously negative 3 negative 3 and 1 fifth is going to fall to the left of negative negative 2. That is possible. X, it is possible for x to be negative 16 divided by 5. Is it possible for x to be negative 3? The answer is yes, because x is, only thing that is required is that x is less than negative 2. X is, this is a negative 2 right here. x is negative, less than negative 2. Negative 3 is again going to fall to the left of negative 2. It's going to fall right here in this region somewhere. That is also possible. Is it possible for x to be 16? The answer is yes, it is possible for x to be 16 because the only thing that is required is that x has to be more than 16 divided by 3, which is 3 and 1 third. x has to be more than, see, it has to be more than 3 and 1 third. Well, 16 is more than 3 and 1 third. It is possible for x to be more, is it, it is possible for x to be 16 because 16 is more than 3 and 1 third. It is also possible for x to be 5 because 5 is more than 3 and 1 third. But it is not possible, it is not possible for x to be 3, because 3 falls outside the region. 3 is going to be right here. The story begins with 3 and 1 third. The solution to this inequality is x has to be either more than 3 and 1 third, or 16 divided by 3, or less than negative 2. Out of the five choices that we have here, four of them fall within the, re within the solution region. 3 does not. The answer is 3. The answer is C. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.